Hey everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Uh, I, I think one of these times I'm going to accidentally say 2 or something, but... Uh. Oh, it smells like... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Actually, before I come out here, uh, I want to get a green herb. It w I, I think there's one, like... I thought there was one in here. It'll be a good idea. No? Oh, alright. Okie dokie. Well, yeah, we're going into this, this next area. And this next area is... Uh, uh, yeah. It's exactly that. Oh, the green air is right here. Okay. Green herbs, they work. I was starting to look like, ch uh, it was starting to look like Chad was never going to come back from this round. So I poked my head in there and fuck me, dude. Next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggot squirming down my throat. I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't see my mind none. They just wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman and then I saw it. The holy grail, a green herb. My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent, so I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed. And what do you know? All the things you want to be in there anymore. I've never been so happy to throw up, dude. I'm gonna head back out there to look for Chad. If anybody else sees this, remember, eat your grains, dude. I don't know why I gave that guy that voice, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of those. Uh, anything... Oh, there's... Crate. Stab! Ammo. Coolerino. I heard some creaking. Uh, but yeah, this will be the lockpick. Which Jill will make very good use of, because she is the master of lockpicking. Disgusting. All right, but anyway, lockpick. Yes, Jill's favorite tool. So you know, I'm not gonna go in here just yet, but I will pick the lock. Well, pickety smickety, and then uh, and then uh, and then uh. Spider! Them. This happens. And Capcom gives you the friendly reminder that this game is from Japan. They are a Japanese company. And yeah. That was gross. gross. The worst part about that. Is that someone out there, someone, found that hot. That, that makes it infinitely worse. Knowing that makes it so much worse. Like, it'd be one thing if it was just gross. Which it is. But, you know, some people, they like the, uh, they like the tentacles. And I, I really don't get it. I could not think of a more disgusting thing it's, it's it's gross it's slimy it's yeah I don't, I don't I don't I don't get it I don't get it you know like if you get it I mean I'm not really here to judge but I'm just gonna say I don't get it all right uh, I'm gonna put some things away because I'm going to get a bunch of stuff like the shotgun this is gonna be uh, a bit of a uh, actually I should do this I uh, know I need the shotgun I'm not really sure if you have to do like this whole big backtracking thing just yet but I'll do it I don't really care There's always some stigma against backtracking. 
and it never bothered me. Like, getting an item and then going back to an area you've already been. Like, whatever. It's fine. Some people call it padding and, or whatever. You know, I don't care. Ah, uh, this is a USS guy. Umbrella Security Service. The real, real Umbrella Soldiers. Uh, UBCS Suicide Note. September 28th, Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. I figured I'd never crack, no matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this one was supposed to be easy. Quick wage. I'd earned it. Happened. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles. You know, we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only get, ever gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Wait. Is he a... Hey, maybe... That looks like a... A USS uniform, because he's got like the yellow. Uh, I think that's a USS guy. I know the thing said UBCS suicide note, but he's wearing a USS uniform. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This. So yeah, I'll be picking a bunch of locks, uh, snapping a bunch of chains. Ooh, first aid spray. That'll come in handy. Later. Actually, I don't need this other herb with me, too. I can go ahead and put that away. I'll organize my inventory once I get a bunch more stuff. Okay, so now I can just open up everything. Which will be quite handy. What? Huh? Oh. What are you doing? Stop. Sir, stop. Okay. Alright. Unlock it. Okay. Fancy box. It's not so much the box, but what's in the box. Another one of these jewels. These will come in handy later. Uh, your Charlie doll. The original Charlie doll was based on the likeness of Toy Uncle's founder, Charlie McBurgan, and has become the mascot for the company. We are pleased to present this porcelain Charlie doll as a celebration of our 25th anniversary. Individually handcrafted with love and care by our staff, this limited edition item makes for a precious gift. We hope he'll find his place as a cherished member of your family. Caution, this product is extremely fragile. Take extra care out of the drop or strike it. Okay. Guys, it's Mega Man, the super action hero guy. You can get action figures of varying sizes. You can get a helmet. As the statue, the look is his signature catchphrase. I am Mega Man. I will protect the peace of the universe. And then Arthur, that's a, a reference to uh, ghosts and goblins. They got a lot of fun Capcom references in here, but not one to Street Fighter, which I was a little disappointed by. Because you guys know, I do like me some Street Fighter. Alright, uh, snivity. Well, I mean, they do have that pseudo Street Fighter reference of the not actually Ryu looking guy. But, you know. Uh, alright. Open the box. Now I have all three of the jewels. Like I said, they'll come in handy later. Alright, uh, this is the first time I've opened up the map. Jeez. They do have a. A bit of memorization for this place. I mean, I did just play through this game. Uh, I finished it for the first time yesterday. <laughs> it is pretty short. Uh, I will say it is quite short, but that doesn't really bother me. 
Um, I think as long as the game is really fun and good, uh, if it's short, it's not that big of a deal. Because, I mean, I just finished it yesterday, as I said, and I'm already playing it again a day after because I want to. So, you know, it did something right. Oh, another grenade. Alright, I'll put some of this stuff away. Make room for more stuff. Uh, oh good, I have gunpowder. Obviously, I'm going to make shotgun shells. Which, those will come in handy once I get the shotgun. Which I'm about to do. Because I want it. Badly. Uh... Was it in here? I think it was in here. Yes. So yeah, shotgun. Very handy. Not this room. Excuse me. Uh, yes. Oh. 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 Buckety. M3. One thing I was surprised with this game is that they actually have real weapons. Because uh, in 2, a lot of them were fake. Uh, it did have a couple not fake weapons, but a lot of them were. Uh, and so I wasn't expecting this game to have real weapons. Because that... I don't know, it's just kind of weird. They came out a year after they got official gun rights in this game, but not in the other game, because, you know, M3, that's a real shotgun. G19, that's a real pistol. You can actually buy these things. If you live in, like, America. Oh, kablooey. Suck on that. Hey, lady. Lady, what are you doing under that car? I'm gonna have to ask you. Stop. I'm an officer of the law. More gunpowder. I'm getting a lot of that. Yeah, I, I do like the, the soundtrack. I know I said that before, but... You know, uh, uh, like I said, it's, it's a bit more prevalent in this game compared to RE2. And again, I think it works for Resident Evil 2 because that is a very... Uh, I, I think it does a great job of making you feel alone, whereas in this one, it makes you feel like you're in the apocalypse. Like, everything is going to hell in this game. Whereas in 2, it's like you're one person, there's only one other person, and you don't know where they are. They don't oh, jeez! Frick off, dude. Trying to give me a friggin' heart attack. Yeah, that's what you get. I swear, every zombie that makes me a little angry, their head explodes. <laughs> oh, it's another USS guy. I thought they would have all died in the sewer. But I guess some of them made it out. Well, made it out of the sewer. Not so much out of the city. Uh, alright, I think, I know there's a, a, a case in that building, but I'll already be going to that exact room later, uh, so, yeah, let me, I'll, I'll continue to look around, I know, that, again, this episode has mainly been backtracking the episode, but, you know, it's fine. You know, I get to talk about things. Where is he? Ah. Thick lad. Please do not touch me. I will file a restraining order. Actually, I don't need to do that. I'm a cop. I'll just sh shoot you. <laughs> uh. No, Jill's a good cop. Not one of those shoot first, ask questions later type. Yeah. Nikolai! That guy who shot 
the the other guy he's the shoot first to ask questions later type but he's not a cop uh actually as you learn he's former spetsnaz which is interesting it does explain one the accent and two his skills because later we will see uh he's not just a douchebag he's a very skilled douchebag Alright, uh, I think I got just about everything. Hmm. Man, what a, a grave sight here. You know, just children's chalk covered in blood. Yeah, and sometimes you just gotta take the time to smell the roses. You know, stopping, isn't that the saying? Stop and smell the roses. I know there's some kind of saying with that. But yeah, uh, guess we'll head back to the power station with all the spiders. And again, I'm, I'm glad I don't have arachnophobia. I said that in Resident Evil 1 because there were some giant spiders there. But yeah. Alright, I'll say... And, uh, I won't. Card and key yet? Oh, I, I got. Okay, that helps. That also helps, but that doesn't. That bugs me. And the reason I use some of my points to get an extra hit pouch immediately is because a big problem I had in my first playthrough is that I kept running out of inventory space. Like it happened a lot, and I don't want it to happen again. Uh, okay. So yeah, there's spiders, as you can see. So yeah, I, I apologize to any and all arachnophobes. Because I'm sure this part sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck anyway. Uh, oh, I, I thought I saw a spider. It was, it was just those. I thought it was legs. Yeah. This place is disgusting, by the way. Like, what even is this stuff? It's webs and meat. Like, what? What? Okay. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting the creeps. Oh no! Oh no! This is why I got the shotgun first, because. One shot from this just blows him to hell. What? Oh, not again. Japan, please stop. Yeah, well, there goes the last of that pizza. From the apartment. I got scared by my own shadow for a second there. I was like, what is this? Yeah, this, this game, it's still scary. It is still quite scary. I, I will say that. It's not quite at Resident Evil 4 level where it's like, there's a couple scary segments, but for the most part, you just kick ass. No, it, uh, there's definitely more fear in this game. Not to say that Resident Evil 4 isn't scary. It, it's just there's... Oh, it's DB. There's oh, it's DB. Uh, but... You know, Resident Evil 4, for the most part, you're not really scared. Like, there are a couple areas, like I said, uh, but, you know, it's mainly an action game. And there's nothing wrong with that. I really like Resident Evil 4. Most people do. <laughs> Though I, I do like the other action-y Resident Evil <laughs> games. Oh. No, no. Jeez, these guys do some damage. Oh, hey. But I mean, yeah. Resident Evil 4. I will be playing that next. So, you know, you guys look forward to that. Resident Evil 4 is like the fan favorite of the series. I'm not sure if... I mean, I don't think it's my favorite 
uh, kind of unpopular opinion there. I do really like it though. I mean, I like most of the action Resident Evil games. Like, I really like Resident Evil 5. That's also a bit of an unpopular opinion. A lot of people don't like Resident Evil 5. Uh, I'll talk more about that when I play Resident Evil 5, because I am also going to be doing that. But that'll that'll be a while from now. Obviously, since I'm at 3, we got a whole other game to go through. Actually, a whole other two games. But, yeah, I, I don't get the hate for Resident Evil 5. Uh, you know, there's kind of been a resurgence. People are starting to like it. Uh, I know a lot of people who are like, I don't care what anybody says, the game is really fun. Uh, and I'm one of those people. Time to get the hell out of here. Yeah. I have shotgun and pistol. Is that spider gonna come here and fight me or is it just gonna scurry around like a creep? Oh, I went the wrong way. What? Huh? What? Oh, get, get off the ceiling. What is the ceiling? Get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. This place is gross. It's gross. It's disgusting. It's creepy. I don't like it. Okay. All right. All that leaves is the main power switch. Yep, Marina. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay, well, that takes care of that. Carlos, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. Why do you gotta be so mean to Carlos, Jill? He's he's a nice guy. I like Carlos. I mean, yeah, I oh, yeah, you. Owie, my back. Uh, oh, uh, no. Nemesis, please. Well, that went well. Well, uh, as I was saying, uh, I, I like Carlos, and, you know, I've played through the whole game, so, you know, I know about Carlos and, you know, all that. But even before I played through the game, I liked Carlos. I just like Carlos. He's cool. Okay. Not this time. Yeah, give me, give me, give me your giant thing. I, I forget. I think this one is the extended mag. Yeah, I want that. There we go. Thank you, Nemesis. Now piss off. Yeah, that's the big difference between him and Mr. X. You can just kind of throw a grenade at him and uh, he's fubbernut. Now to be fair, Mr. X, you can stun him as well. Uh, and it, it does make a, a bigger difference stunning him because Mr. X is way slower. Nemesis, he runs. He will run at you. <laughs> like, he does not waste any time. He sprints at you with maximum speed and hateful intent. Carlos, that thing is still alive. It's after me. What? Run. Come back to the station. Not until I get traffic control online. And not only that... But Nemesis also comes into the safe rooms. <laughs> like, I didn't know he could do that. And so I went into a safe room thinking I was going to be fine and dandy. And all of a sudden he just busts through the door. And I was like, wait a minute, that's cheating! And it is. He shouldn't be able to do that. It's the safe room. You're supposed to be safe in there. Alright, yeah, you... I don't... Oh no, he's back. <laughs> 
Yeah, he also just kind of Hulk jumps in whenever he feels like it. Yeah, he's walking. Oh. Please don't do that. Alright. I know this game is made by Japan, but I'm not looking to... Ow. See, he's running. He's... Ow. He also combos you. <laughs> like, Mr. X, he punches you once, and then you get to uh, get up off the ground and then run away. Not with Nemesis. <laughs> with Nemesis, after he hits you, the only way to not get hit again is to dodge the attack with the special dodge mechanic. Which I'm good at doing uh, when I can actually see him. But if I'm running away and then he's just all of a sudden behind me, then I'm I'm not so good. All right, maybe I'll I'll actually dodge him this time. I'll get good. Hey, wait, he didn't spawn. Am, am I in the clear? No, I'm not. All right. Get out. That didn't work. You gotta do it at like the last second. It's, it's difficult to time. Yeah, he's coming through. Oh dear. Uh... Not screwing around right now. You guys are in the way. <sighs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That, that was epic. Okay, this is epic. Ah, it's nice and bright in here. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a room. Okay, give me a sec. Now what's in this box? Oh, shotgun shells. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna organize my inventory a wee bit here, lads. There we go. Where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Hey, I'm Super Cop. Consider it done. Okay. Um. All right. So we need to go to Faust uh, or Faust Avenue. So F A. That's T. And then we need to go to. Raccoon Central Station. So R A, and then far. Wait, no. Three, and then uh, Saint Mitchell's Clock Tower. And we go to two. Boom. Bam. First try, baby. I finished him putting the subway room. Big brain. Jill, you are amazing. Yeah. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Big brain, lads. Let's get it. Okay, uh. Oh yeah, you. I'm not screwing her out. Why, why the tentacles? Why is it why is it always gotta be the tentacles? I'm not screwing with you guys. Like, I've made it clear. I don't screw with tentacles. I'm not that kind of guy. Or uh, girl, I guess. Stop! I'm getting out of here. Leave me alone. Why does this game have so many tentacles? Like, Nemesis has tentacles, he can give enemies tentacles, the spiders have tentacles, like, what? Why? Why? Actually, why? Um. Okay, uh. Oh, he's back. Alright, uh, eat this, sir. Yeah, give me that second crate, I want it. All right, I think this uh, this one has a uh, suppressor in it. 
Yeah. Awesome. It's called the moderator in the game. I've never heard it called that before. Uh, but yeah, it's a suppressor. And suppressors are very cool. Uh, that's not the way I need to go. I forget the way I need to go. Uh, I'll just leave you guys a vibe. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Okay, I need to... I need to get back to the subway station. Which is... Which is... There. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Now, I may have stopped Nemesis pretty quickly with those grenades. But, uh... One, you don't always have grenades. And two, eventually it will not stop him. He does get stronger, and meaner, and angrier. Oh! Double head explosion. That was nice. Alright, freak you, I'm going, I'm going in here. Leave me alone. You're ugly and I don't like you. Okay, now this is where I use the jewels. All right. Another grenade. That'll come in handy. I think, yeah, this is a stock for the M3. This is uh, more what I'm used to seeing on an M3, this kind of stock with the pistol grip and stuff. Yeah, there's one left, and I think this one is a hip pouch, which is always nice. Alright. I'm going to end this episode here. Nemesis, man, he... You know, you, you do just kind of... Kind of wreck him the first time you see him, but it does not stay that way, trust me. Um... So, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Uh, it only gets worse from here. It doesn't get any better. I mean, if you guys know Resident Evil games, you know it does not get easier as you go along. Uh, generally, that is how most games work. But, yeah. Uh, so, um, I don't really have anything else to say. So, I, I guess I'll just do the outro. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did, too. And I'll see you guys next episode.